Oscar and Julie are discussing how people commute daily. My commute isn't bad. It's rather pleasant when you compare it to other people's commutes. I know what you mean. A friend of mine takes a ferry to the subway. She then has to change trains three times. Just thinking about that gives me a headache. I'm not done. After that, she takes a cable car to a spot on the mountain and walks another ten minutes. Does she do that every day? Yes, and it takes her almost two hours. That's crazy. She really loves her job, I guess. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to part B of our monthly focus lesson. As I'm sure you all remember, this month's dialogue is titled Daily Commute. We will be joining Oscar and Julie again. Oscar and Julie are still commuting and still talking too. That's right. On part A of our lesson, Oscar and Julie started a conversation after having bumped into one another on the subway. They talked about their daily commutes while commuting. Mm. Now, Oscar and Julie have long commutes. Oscar likes public transportation and doesn't mind his commute. Julie, on the other hand, she does not like commuting on public transportation. She prefers to ride her scooter to and from work. That just about covers it. Okay, today Oscar and Julie will be talking about how one of Julie's friends commutes. Julie's friend has an insane commute. Hmm, she does indeed. Okay, everyone, it's time to get started. First, though, you'll all have to review today's vocabulary. 好，我们在第一天的对话看到 Oscar 搭地铁巧遇他的同事 Julie。Julie 是因为机车坏掉才会改搭地铁。那他们现在正在讨论大家的每天通勤方式。Oscar 说他的通勤还不算糟，跟其他人比起来算好的了。像他有一个朋友是坐渡轮去搭地铁，然后再换三次火车，而且还没有结束哦，他还要搭缆车到山上的缆车站，然后再走十分钟的路。哇，这种通勤方式，光是用想的就让人头痛了。这边出现三个单字 ，Oscar 说他的通勤方式算好的了。那么 rather rather 就是用来表达相当怎么样，或是颇怎么样，蛮怎么样的。那它是当副词来用。例如 ，The article is rather interesting. The article is rather interesting. 那篇文章还蛮有趣的。好，下一个单字 ，pleasant。Pleasant， 它是用来形容令人愉快的或是舒适的，那它是当形容词来用。例如 ，The flowers smell pleasant. 嗯、hmm, ，The flowers smell pleasant. 这些花很好闻，有令人愉悦的味道。第三个单词是 headache. Headache， 我们知道 head 是头，那么 ache 是疼痛，合在一起。Headache 就是头痛，那它是一个名词。假设你昨天晚上头很痛，那就可以说 I had a terrible headache last night. I had a terrible headache last night. 好 ，Julie 那位朋友的通勤方式真的很夸张，上班要花两个小时。哎 ，Julie 就说，我想他一定很热爱他的工作。那这边有一个单词是 guess， guess， 它当动词有猜想。推测的意思，例如 ，They didn't tell him the truth. I guess they didn't tell him the truth. I guess 我猜他们没有把真相告诉他。好，现在你看完单字例句，接着来看对话吧。Oscar and Julie are discussing how people commute daily. My commute isn't bad. It's rather pleasant when you compare it to other people's commutes. I know what you mean. A friend of mine takes a ferry to the subway. She then has to change trains three times. Just thinking about that gives me a headache. Explanation one. Welcome back to part B of our monthly focus lesson. The title of our dialogue is "Daily Commute." Oscar and Julie are discussing how people commute daily. 
They've already discussed their commutes. Now it's time for them to compare their commutes with someone else's. Now this someone else has one of the worst commutes imaginable. We'll learn all about this commute today. Okay, Oscar kicks off today's lesson by saying, "My commute isn't bad. It's rather pleasant when you compare it to other people's commutes." There you have it. Oscar's commute is long, but it could be worse, much worse. Julie agrees with Oscar. She says, "I know what you mean." Then she begins talking about her friend, the friend with a terrible daily commute. She starts by saying, "A friend of mine takes a ferry to the subway." And that's just the beginning. The rest, though, we'll have to wait for now. Why? Because it's time to hear from Teacher Daphne. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 a friend of mine。意思是我的一个朋友，其中 mine 是 I 的所有格代名词，一同于 my 再加上名词，用来表示我的某人事物。例如 ，a friend of mine 的 mine 就是 my friends， 我的朋友们。换句话说 ，a friend of mine 字面意思就是我朋友当中的其中一个。例如 ，this is a handbag。Of mine, 这是我的一个包包。And we're back. Julie has just begun telling Oscar about her friend's awful commute. First, this person takes a ferry to the subway. Yes, she takes a boat to the subway every day. Wow. But that's just the beginning. Next, Julie says. She then has to change trains three times. You heard right, everyone. She changes trains three times. Three times. Anyways, after taking a ferry, she has to change trains three times at the subway station. I'm having a hard time even imagining that. Oscar feels the same way. Just thinking about that gives me a headache. He says.、Hmm. Sounds about right to me.、Eh? My head is aching too. Anyways, with that, it's now time to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. I'm not done. After that, she takes a cable car to a spot on the mountain and walks another ten minutes. Does she do that every day? Yes, and it takes her almost two hours. That's crazy. She really loves her job, I guess. Explanation two. Welcome back. Jeff and I are reading from Part B of our lesson called Daily Commute.、Mm -hmm. Now, before the break, Julie began telling us about her friend's commute. This person takes a ferry to the subway and then changes trains three times. What a commute! Just thinking about this gave Oscar a headache. Not a real one, everyone. It's just a phrase. But here's the thing, there's more to this commute. Mm-hmm. Julie says, "I'm not done." That is, she's not done telling Oscar about her friend's commute. Anyway, we'll learn more about the final legs of this commute right after we hear from Teacher Daphne. 第二则文法是 "I'm not done." 意思是我还没说完。Done 在这里是形容词，完成了的。前方用否定副词 not 不修饰，合在一起。I'm not done 字面意思就是我还没完成。举凡话还没说完，事情还没做完，都可以说 I'm not done。例如 ，Don't hang up yet. I'm not done. 先别挂电话，我还没说完。Okay, first. There's a ferry ride. 
and this is followed by three subway trains. Get this though, there's even more! Yup, after that she takes a cable car to a spot on the mountain and walks another 10 minutes. Whoa, a ferry ride, some subway trains, a cable car, and then a 10 minute walk. What a commute! How does she manage? Oscar is thinking the same thing. How does she do this? Does she do that every day? He asks. Yes, answers Julie, and it takes her almost two hours. That's crazy. By the way, this is what I believe and what Oscar says next. Anyway, here's the question, the real question. Why would anyone put up with a commute like this? Yeah, why? Julie thinks her friend does it because she loves her job. She really loves her job, I guess, says Julie. Okay, I guess that makes some sense. Anyway, with that, today's lesson is now complete and it's time to take a break. But don't go away, we'll be back soon. Oscar and Julie are discussing how people commute daily. My commute isn't bad. It's rather pleasant when you compare it to other people's commutes. I know what you mean. A friend of mine takes a ferry to the subway. She then has to change trains three times. Just thinking about that gives me a headache. I'm not done. After that, she takes a cable car to a spot on the mountain and walks another 10 minutes. Does she do that every day? Yes, and it takes her almost two hours. That's crazy. She really loves her job, I guess. Hello, everybody. I'm Shane. Uh, 你怎么了? My wife told me she wants a divorce. Get out! Of course not! I'm amazing! Why would anybody want to go on? Uh, okay. Well, you aside, I actually want to go on this week. Yeah. Shut up! Wait, seriously? Yeah, really. Come on, you cannot be serious. Okay, okay, I'm joking. We're not married. Yeah, I mean, you thought that was for real. I thought it was for real. I thought you were being like for real. <laughs> no, I didn't. Of course no. not. Wow, we are really bad actors. What do you think? Yeah, we're pretty bad. <laughs> All right, so let's explain. Get out. So we're going to talk about today. No, how do you English express it? First, get out. Is it really going to let me go out? Of course, it's not going to. It's not true. Oh, really? You hear get out, not to go out, so don't do that. The second one is shut up. Yes, you really can say shut up. But it's not really polite. It's not really saying shut up. Yes, it's not a mouth. It's not a mouth. It's just oh my gosh, you're not saying this is really true. You're not saying this is really true. You're not saying this is really true. Shut up! 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 Seriously? 后面就会接 Seriously? 你认真的吗？不是 Wait. Seriously? 对啊。就这个 Wait 好像就是你有点吓到 Wait. 对，让我整理一下我的情绪。等一下，真的吗？这样子。对，那还有另外一种呢？ Come on. Come on. 不是 Come on. 不是这种吧？不是这种 Come on. 对啊，这是这是过来还是什么？ Come on. Yeah, 就是也是讶异的那一种感觉。Now, for reals? 对，然后其实 for reals 啊， s 要不要加？其实有没有差？哎，其实你可以说 for real， for real， for real， for real， 好像都可以。对啊，就是 really 的意思。Really？ Really？ 可是真的吗？可是很多台湾人说 really， 我觉得 really 有些人用用太多了。哦、oh, ，对，所以可以说 for real 比较到底。真的。Yeah。OK。所以我们已经把这一段讲完了，对不对 yeah, ？Yeah。Let's do. Why don't we do a little bit live action? For real? For real. All right, let's go to live action. Yeah. Oh my God. 
Did you hear that Ross and Rachel broke up again? Get out! Wait, seriously? For real. Come on, you're kidding, right? They just got back together last week. I know, right? I don't understand those two. Number one, get out! Number two, shut up! Number three, seriously? Wait, seriously? Number four, come on! Number five, for real? For reals? I'm Hanny. 又到我们一分钟单元喽。那我们今天要一分钟的时间来复习四个单词，还要找四个例句。同学们准备好没？一分钟继续开始。第一个单词呢，叫做相当或是否怎么样？哎，就是蛮怎么样，挺怎么样的。这个字叫做 rather。rather 它是当副词。Those shoes are rather cheap. 那些鞋子相当便宜，还蛮便宜的。好，第二个单词呢，它可以用来形容令人愉快的、舒适的，像景色很宜人，天气很宜人。这个字叫什么 ？Pleasant。Pleasant 就是令人愉快的。They had a pleasant time at the amusement park. 他们在游乐园玩得很愉快。好，第三个单词叫做头痛。头叫什么 ？Head。疼痛叫做 ache。合在一起 ，headache。Headache 就是头痛。I have a headache and a sore throat. 我头痛又喉咙痛。好，第四个单词呢，它有猜的意思，它可以可以当动词来表达猜想或是推测。这个字叫做 guess。Guess。Peter got tired of his job, I guess. 嗯，我猜 Peter 应该是厌倦他的工作了吧。好，太好啦，我们轻轻松松就要一分钟之内复习完四个单词，同学们表现很棒哦。那回去也要多多复习，多多造句练习。我们下次见，拜拜。Thank、you